Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, our Island Hub series. And we're overlooking the airport and also kind of the train station here in Izmir. One of the towns we sort of focused on a little bit in the last episode, adding a funky new high-speed train route. Which this plane obviously isn't part of, but I mean it all feeds together, doesn't it? You know, gets things going. However, I played on a little bit after that last episode and discovered that I might actually have a bit of an issue with that train route. So we might have to address that. Or maybe not, because I've got a bit of a plan for today. Part of which involves waiting for the year to turn over. We're now in 1970. Ooh, some funky new buses. Good. We don't use a lot of big buses. Ooh, a boat. I, we don't have passenger... Uh, ship routes anymore, do we? I think we got rid of that up in Rangpur. Ah, some lovely new locomotives. They look like they could be useful for the short distance routes we have. Uh, yeah, more of the same. Yeah, oh, and a big China type. That's a passenger wagon, I think. 87. Oh, I wonder if that could be useful to us. That's probably Japanese. Could be Chinese, but uh, another... Pa oh, that's it, is it? Okay. Right, first off, the problem I think I've got is with the route, the, no, not the freight station, the cargo station. This route we put in here, oh, it's losing nearly a million. No, 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 no. So kind of alongside the high speed route that I put in, which went from Erewhon down here to a Jaxima and then up to Chengdu. Shall I take some of the icons off? Might make things a little bit easier to see. Which one should we take off? Uh, we'll take off uh, those, 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 those. I could have just ticked that button, couldn't I? Yeah, do that. There you are. So it's slightly easier to see now, perhaps. Uh, yeah, so it go that route goes up. Um, oh, the trouble is, if you take the route... <laughs> take the... Oh, no you take the that's a commercial building that if you take oh it does show up good okay uh, yeah so a bit like the route from Erewhon down way down in the south up to up to Ajaxima and then up further north to Chengdu we created a route a slightly shorter route but nonetheless fairly lengthy from Dien Phu through Ajaxima to Izmir the problem we've got I think is that Izmir isn't a very big place. I mean, so that's Izmir. How big is Chengdu? Yeah, Chengdu is a lot bigger. Erewhon at the other end, again, is a modest sized city. But the issue we've got is that I put some big, powerful, and expensive trains on this route. So here we are. It's carrying 32 people out of 192. That's not going to do good, do me any good, is it? Not in terms of finances. So the details for that. It cost me five and a half million a year to run that train. So what we might want to do is cut down the capacity of these. Because it's not actually... Uh, yeah, 352 out of 768. It's not huge, is it? So one solution would be, after a, after a year of running, is to reduce the capacity on that line or change it to a multiple unit, which might be more cost efficient. Or which I think is going to be the plan for today, is grow Izmir. Make Izmir bigger, better, more full of people which want to travel to other parts of our island hub. So what we're going to do there, we're going to try and get more stuff in here. As you can see, we've got a fair amount of route connectivity, but our supply of cargo is poor, to put it politely. Now, where are we getting that from? The, the goods is the main thing I think I'm going to focus on today. Is we're getting from Chengdu, which is just over there. Also, some coming all the way up from way far down south in Rangpur, which by the look of it isn't actually getting here, but it is a long circuitous route. So, yeah, we've got that, and the other demand is for Commat coming from Dien Bien Phu, Fukushima. I don't think think we actually have any other combat plants, do we? Uh, no, so you're the Fukushima one. You're running pretty much at full tilt. So how much are we getting at? What's our line rate on that? 577. Oh, these are quite old steam locos. We could upgrade those. 
We might well do that actually, but I'm not going to focus on combat for the moment. We're going to focus on goods. Uh, so our goods plant up here is Chengdu. And we're getting a good amount of plastic. We've got a good supply into our plastics plant here of uh, refined oil. It's refined oil, isn't it? Yeah, it goes in there. But we're not getting enough steel. And the steel is coming from uh, the Kiev steel, steel Mill and also Hong Kong, which is on the Northern Island up there. And Kiev is quite well supplied. It's pumping out a fair amount of steel, but we're not getting quite enough coal going in, which I think we might want to address. But I think the main issue I've got here is that this steel plant is supply. Sorry, the goods plant here. Uh, yeah, the goods plant here is supplying to all sorts of places. And in fact, the steel mill is also supplying to Hong Kong and Rangpur, which it doesn't need to do. I don't want it to do that particularly. What I want is the steel to come here into this factory so we can keep that steel input going up to match our plastic supply to get more goods coming out of here. So it's not shipping a great many. Uh, and part of the problem is that the steel comes in here. It comes in here. And then on this line here, the Chengdu export line, these trucks are actually taking it away to the freight line here, coming from Chengdu, which then sends it into our mass hub, our freight hub, which ships it around the world to all sorts of other places. So I think the first step is to stop the transportation of steel into Chengdu freight here. So we'll leave it at the steel mill here, uh, the, the goods factory rather. Let's put all our icons back so I can sort of see what's going on. Okay, so on this line here, we are going to, uh, from here, I've already limited that, have I? So don't take steel from here. So it's not taking plastics away. Good. I'm not sure where plastics would be used elsewhere. Well, there is the goods plant down in Rangpur, isn't there? So if we do that, so that hopefully should help keep steel here to create goods. And what I want to do here is try and... I'm not sure what more I can do here. Because both these rail lines bringing the coal in from here. That's got a rate of 400. The one down here has a rate of 400. So they're doing the job very nicely. And both coal mines are producing. But quite possibly the ore is closer. Which is why it's getting more ore in there. But no, let's see if we can improve the, the throughput. Actually, if I look at these. So that's a four minute turnaround on that one. This one here. That's four minutes as well. Why is it unbalanced? Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. That's the thing I'm looking to look at. That's four minutes. Everything is four minutes. So it should be working perfectly. Okay. We've got steam trains running on all of this, haven't we? Let's see if we can improve these, these coal ones at least. We've still got far too many steam trains running on our line. We should be going properly diesel by now. So let's have a look at the vehicles on here. It's 17 years old, which is quite old. Uh, so what can we replace you with? Uh, not edit you, I want to replace you entirely. So what train is this? This is the D51. Which is in here somewhere. There you are. Uh, oh, you only go 53, do you? 1, 2, 8. Yeah, I wonder if we could pump that up a little bit. Alright, so this train here. Stop zooming around the map, man. Let's replace you with something which goes bigger and better and faster. Not electric. We don't do electric on cargo. So what? So let's have a look at uh, power. So the most powerful ones we've got down here. You go 81. 65. That's better. You're the Korean. I've used you a couple of times already. You're rather nice. Actually, you're not too bad. This is the newest one, isn't it? 1970. 
59, so we're a little bit faster. A little bit more powerful, which is good. And in fact, the Yellow Russian, that's pretty much the same as the Steam Loco we've got, apart from being a bit faster. Right, so what cargo wagons have we got which can carry coal? Uh, let's do this in speed terms. So you go at 75, the Naffy goes at 75, you all go at 75 apart from the old gondolas which go at 50. Let's go 75, an open wooden wagon. Still, in 19... Okay, you're 70 there. Right. Let's see about putting you in. So what capacity do we have at the moment on this train? 132. Something like that. Okay, and you can go at 75. So can we get a diesel which goes pretty much the same speed? or well, not too far off. 65 is the, it's that Korean, isn't it? If I put you on there, it's a mediocre performance, which is pretty much what we're getting from our current... Yeah, 50 miles an hour in 127. It's bigger and faster and better, I think, so we'll re definitely replace you. Only 11 million. Good. And for Coal West, we can do the same thing. Let's uh, manage you, replace you. Oh, it was the Korean locomotive. Add one of you. And our cargo was that lovely new gondola. There you go. Excellent. I will leave the the ore trains for the moment because I'm not too concerned about ore. So we're focusing on the coal and the steel. Now the steel is coming out of here on the steel bulk line, which has got two old, oh they are quite old, steam locos. Uh, one of which, for example, is you. And you are maximum speed 50 again. I think we need to move you faster. Very bad condition. Yes, indeed. And your capacity is 120. And the locomotive... The D51 again. Let's fix you guys then. Ah, before we do that though, what I was thinking was, is this: these steel trains are only taking steel in one direction. I mean, they are both profitable because there's a lot of steel and steel is very profitable over that sort of distance. But what if they took goods directly back from there as well? So it's easier for those goods to get to Izmir. Now, at the moment, they'll be dropping them off here at our steel plant here. But what if they could carry on and somehow get into the freight platform here? So at the moment, they have to go via a Jaxima. Are we carrying any steel? Any oh, we are carrying some goods up there. But actually, that train, really not that old, but... You're Oh, get iffy finances. We're not getting enough freight up there. So, yeah, I think this is going to fix a lot of this, I think. Do we want to allow those goods to come down to a Jackson and to go all the way up again? I mean, it works for passengers. I mean, that's the whole conceit of this series, isn't it? The, the hub of, of the passenger network and sort of hub-based freight as well. But it might work better if we can get the goods out there directly to Izmir. So we've got a line, we've got, got our steel train coming back here. What line are you on? You are there. So what's on the outer line then? Uh, that's, oh, that's one of the coal mines. Yeah, that's that one up there. That'd be nice if we could sort of Skirt across from here, across there, across the bay. I'm thinking we might actually prefer to come down here. Which actually makes me think. Got this train station here. You're delivering... Yeah, you're taking grain from here. Could we then use you as another stop in the goods chain? So our steel train comes yeah the steel train comes back with the goods here 
I think. Yeah, we can do that. And then goes back the distance empty. So it should be carrying goods for more of its length, or carrying cargo for more of its length. Then we can have another train here. Uh, so only one service going in there at the moment. Oh, that's interesting. There's nothing else going through that station. No. Oh, so we have got a spare platform as well we can use for this. That's good. And that should then be able to connect into this here. Connect into the, okay, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to re revisit the steel line. We're going to put a diesel train on, two diesel trains on there. Uh, which I can do right now, in fact. Oh, the, the thing is, they're going to have to be... Ooh, uh, steel is carried on a flat car, isn't it? Yeah. That's the trouble. Are you, are you a flat car? You're. A, tell me what... You're a flat car with side stakes. And I don't think flat cars carry goods. They don't. The naffy will. You're only 14. That might be enough. Because the current one, the current flat car with side stakes, presumably is you. You carry 12, so it's going to be a bit more. But the naffy will allow me to take goods back. I think this works. Right, so if we change that, we're going to put on... What's our capacity at the moment on these things? 120. That seems to be okay-ish, I think. 126. You're 161 meters long already. So you might need to make this a bit... Uh, the station's a little bit larger so they don't uh, overflow. And the diesel loco, we could go with the Indian. You're a little bit more powerful and you can certainly take up to 75 miles an hour. Yes, you're our fastest diesel. If I put you on there... You've got a good rating. Excellent. Let's try that then. Good. And you're currently carrying 115. That's fine. So we're gonna I'm gonna slip into a little bit of speed build here now. We're going to somehow get that steel train to go through this station and spin round. Kiev to get to Jakarta. I think this station will need to be made bigger and then connect that up into Izmir Freight Exchange. Might need to put another platform on that, I think. And uh, then I'll come back and we'll see if it actually works. So I will stop talking. I'll head into the speed build, add a little bit of a soundtrack along the way, and I'll see you again in a few moments' time.
I think we are pretty much there now. There's one more train I need to put on and we're, I think, sorted. Though, <laughs> I hadn't noticed before I started getting into my plan that I didn't actually have any local delivery of cargo within Izmir itself. But then again, the, uh, the train station does actually cover most of that ground. Uh, so it covers all the way across here up to this road here with the exception of a few outlier buildings up here as we saw from our cargo overlay that's where all the commercial industry buildings are situated they've obviously clustered around where the stuff comes in kind of makes sense I suppose doesn't it but yes yeah, so putting a, a couple of small trucks on there will extend that range uh, but they probably won't make much money to start with seeing as the train will deliver and ship to most of these businesses anyway and again we're faced with a little issue there that there's not a lot of cargo going to be shipped by road within Izmir and the roads are fairly slow anyway 31 miles an hour or whatever so having a 50 mile an hour truck carrying 20 goods at a time somewhat overkill and prone to making huge losses so I don't want to do that anyway we have let's get back to Kiev here yeah a little bit of yeah, I got confused over all the single tracks coming in from our iron ore and uh, coal mines here uh, so getting all that double tracked properly was a little bit of a, a struggle for me as you saw it took me a couple of goes to get it right but I think we are pretty much there now uh, are you going to level this out for me without introducing any are you well maybe you won't I don't know try your best will that brush help no without introducing any water along the track side so I may have to put some more effort into this to make this more elegant and smoother we're getting there anyway so we've got yeah our steel line with uh with the trades have all gone now where are the steel line there they're running those funky new diesels and that line now goes out of Kiev uh, steel mill up to the Chengdu that's a long way that is to the manufacturing here let's hopefully pick up some goods which you can then take back all the way around here this is actually a very long route isn't it we'll see if this works I may have to redesign it again but that that's that's me yeah I always like to cut my cloth at least twice before I get it anywhere anywhere approaching wearable as it were mixing my metaphors horribly so that's going in there uh, to drop off the goods hopefully at Jakarta Farm South let's can I smooth that up a little bit that looks a little bit nicer yeah and from there a new goods train the goods bulk which I need to get a train on this will take the goods a little distance up here into uh, into Izmir I, I, one of the thoughts I had before I actually started recording this was perhaps we could have cargo coming in by plane we might do that actually which might give this train here as well extra things to do so we might get other goods coming into or other cargo coming into Izmir which it doesn't need itself so they could be stacked up and sent back here and sent back to Kiev yeah but I did disconnect this track here which would connect it into the Ajaxima freight hub we could always put that back somehow don't know how but we could anyway yeah we need a train on there how the heck am I going to get one up there ah uh, we're going to need this track here aren't we yeah to get on there can we curve that in because the train depots are all down near the freight hub at Ajaxima so can we connect you somehow it says we can actually if I take you back just a little bit further I can oh, I can. oh you plug directly into there don't you okay or into whoops no don't go don't go down there ah you're not going to do it to there are you no it's going to be answer to that 
actually, could we? We could do it like that. I mean, this is just temporary track to get the trains up from the depot. Could I actually come out from there at all? <gasps> it looks like I can. That does not look like a workable track arrangement, to be honest. I mean, I don't pay too much attention to the rules of the real track laying, to be honest. It is a game, after all. But even I might bulk at that. I think I will. Yeah. So if we go in there, then we should be able to come out. Yeah, there's a crossover there. You should be able to get onto that blue line, the Izmir bulk delivery. Okay, so where are our cargo depots? Oh, gosh. Oh, you don't go anywhere. Uh, okay, they're, they're all down here. Yikes. <laughs> Is there any of these capable of getting up to Izmir at all? Where the heck is Izmir? I've... Right, so Izmir is there. Oh, actually, we could come up this way. Yes. Although if we go around... The, uh, there's a crossover there, isn't there? So we have got track coming up here. You're on that side. You don't go up. Where's that? That's Kiev, isn't it? Yeah. You don't really cut across. You're coming from there. You're a passenger line, aren't you? That's the thing. Yeah, we don't have any connections onto that line for freight trains up there. But we could... What am I thinking? I am thinking we could get you up there, couldn't we? From here. Let's see if we can do that. So we will need you to... Oh, that's the truth. <laughs> Come out of... Yeah, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. So let's say here, shall we? So what sort of train? Doesn't doesn't need to be big. It doesn't need to be fast. Doesn't need to be terribly funky. Uh, what about one of these new ones we got? The, uh, you go 62. You're not terribly powerful. You're nice. And you are, yeah, Taiwanese. Yeah, I noticed those on the Steam Workshop recently. And I thought, oh, I don't think I've got any Taiwanese assets in the game. So I thought that'd be nice. There's also a small, yeah, the, these little shunting vehicles, presumably, is what they are. But no. These, oh, it's a Japanese one. You're a bit more powerful. Do you guys have any different characteristics? Doesn't look like you do. Diesel electrics, that's very efficient. Okay, let's put 210, 201 on there to start with. And boxcars, I think is all we need, isn't it? For uh, You're going at 62. It's all we need for goods. You've got 50. Actually, if I limit this to goods, I don't get too confused. Uh, where's goods? There you are. Oh, we've got you. you got, oh, you've got 62. You are quite hefty, though. You carry 20. You carry 16. Don't cost as much. You're an interesting design. It's a container car with a caboose. Okay, let's put... Uh, I like you. Yeah, why not? Put you on, and you on, and you. Now let's put another one of those on, and then you. Which gives me a capacity of 76, which isn't huge, but that should be okay, I think. So if I buy you, uh, can I put you on the Izmir Goods Bulk, I think I called it. Go on, tell me you can get there. It's thinking about it. It worked it out! Whoa, I love you, game. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, right, so let's get this game actually running again then. Uh, so let's go up to Izmir. I need to, I think, ought to put some good wait time on that train. 
Uh, I didn't put any wait time at all, so we'll wait till you're full. Three minutes. Uh, let's make it two minutes. See see how that pans out. And this train here. Oh, I like the look of you. That's nice. Again, a reminder, as I'm sure you hope, well, hope you already know, all my uh, all the workshop mods that I'm using in the game are in my Steam collection, and you can find a link to that in the description for this video down below. Now, of course, this will impact probably on that Izmir goods bulk coming up from the Jaxima. So perhaps we ought to have a look at that train as well. Uh, so you are that. Oh, it's the bulk freight. It's that one. Yeah, you're a fairly modest steam train. Ooh, the sound of aeroplanes taking off. You made loads of money occasionally, but more often than not, not. So what are you carrying? You're carrying a few things. Not a huge amount though, at all. So let's manage this vehicle. Let's. Uh, you are you you with that same DNA two. D51, that's it. Same old thing. So let's actually change you down, I think. And I don't want to carry goods because you can't actually carry goods in a locomotive. If I put you on, or you. Put the Korean on. I think you're a more recent addition. Are you? More recent? 67? Yeah, put the Korean on. I like you. And, and it's the same kind of colour as that Taiwanese locomotive. Yeah, kind of makes sense. We're going to need the Naffy wagon on this to carry most anything. Uh, that's it's too slow. 75 is a bit too fast, but what the heck. Our current capacity of this train is 104. We can reduce that a little bit, I think. He said by extending it. Okay, let's make it 108. Okay. We'll try that. Good. And what are you carrying at the moment? Is that the... It's a flat car I put... No, I don't want the flat... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. That isn't the... F I don't want you at all. I want the naffy. You great plonker. Uh, uh, now we need to edit this. Get those flat cars away. Put the naffy on. It looks very similar. Easy mistake for someone who's not paying attention to make. That looks better. It's a bit longer as well, so that makes more sense for a hefty locomotive. Right. So, so we've lost out on all the uh, all the goods or whatever we were bringing up from from a Jackson. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. He said. Oh dear. And you'll get. You're going through there. That's good. How's our steel train doing? Where are they? So we've got one of you. You're going up there carrying a bit of steel. Oh, we're already carrying goods back. Only four. But obviously it takes a little while for Chengdu to realise it can send goods out here. Oh yes, it's moving towards that now. Good, good. And the steel here, that will just disappear, dissipate, because those trucks are no longer allowed to take it away, are they? Do not load steel. Good. Oops. Train 47. Oh, that's our new... You've got into the wrong platform. Of course it did. Of course it did. Yeah, because that's the only, <laughs> it's the only platform that track can get to. Okay, we need. Oh, I didn't put any signals on here, did I? No. Okay. Uh, so you've gone. You have gone into a freight platform. That's that's good. Ooh. Oh, I did put. A couple, yeah, I did put signals on that track. Okay, let's get rid of you, which upsets the line. Can we put you uh, 
That looks a bit naff. Can we flatten that out? That looks better. I'm not sure if that will improve the ability of this trade to get there or not. Okay, you can go down that way. And now we need you to. That's too acute an angle. Oh, we can make that slip switched. Excellent. Okay, so. It looks like it can make it out there. Good. Well, the other real freight train comes in. That's it. You're out the way. Good. Excellent. Right, so everything should be fine. Now. So where's... Oh, there we are. Coming in. About to load goods. Yeah, these are very tight curves. Very unpleasant. Very slow. But, you know, you're going into a station. You should be going slowly. So four whole goods waiting here to be taken into Izmir. And the train just about fits in. Nice. Lovely. And here you come. Which train are you? That's you. Let's bring you into view. Why are you only loading three up? Did we not get four? You didn't take. You're not taking one back, are you? No. Where did four go? How curious. Okay. Maybe one just ran out of time, perhaps. Who knows? Oh, what are you? You're the grain bulk. How old are you? 19. Yeah, let's upgrade you as well while we're here. Are you a D51? You are a D... Yeah. I, I, there's a loc I find a locomotive, which I love, which works very well, and I just keep on using it. And your maximum speed is currently 50. Yeah, because you're carrying the, the old grain gondola. So let's uh, manage that vehicle. Let's replace you. And your current capacity is 204. And we want... One of you. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Two. You might. You're going to go a bit faster as well. Oh, you're going to be too long for the platform though. That's the issue we're going to have because that platform is only 120. Oh bother! So how long is that train? 150. 156. Really? Uh, right. So diesel. You don't need to be a big fast train, so we could use you, perhaps. Would you work? Okay, let's let's try that. So uh, that is. No, you don't have any problem. Yeah, there was no uh, no issue with the load speed there. So it looks like you're all right. Splendid. Okay, that appears to be going quite nicely. That's all working. What are you? Oh, you're bringing back nine goods. Awesome. So how much money are we going to make from nine goods? We'll, we'll switch to somewhere else in a second. I just want to see how, how much money we make from nine goods. I think it was a fair amount, actually, because it's coming quite a distance. Oh, and the train's just pulled out. Let's just check that it does actually leave nine goods behind. And it doesn't suddenly turn into eight or seven. 230,000. That's a good amount. And five goods. Hmm. Curious. I wonder what the rule is there. Right, where else? Oh, the other thing I was, I was thinking of as well was... The, good, the machines factory here is not getting enough steel here to produce uh, machines. Uh, we do appear to have a lot of machines waiting here. Machines. Does anyone want machines? Oh, Hong Kong wants machines. So does Port Moresby. Oh, it does. It is picking up uh, machines there. Hong Kong 
Steel transfer, I think, also does take steel as well. Oh, sorry, machines. But it could do with more. I think the problem I've got here is that I'm allowing steel to be taken off this island. I'd rather the, the focus was that steel went into this factory so it could keep, <laughs> keep in tune, keep abreast of the planks delivery which we've got going on here. So I think what I will do is tell these two air freight companies, uh, it's the Ajax one really isn't it, to not take steel out of here. So if we take, uh, no from Hong Kong, do not take steel either. Which may affect the production of machines and stuff elsewhere on the map but well we'll see how that plays out so we won't do it from there so hopefully this factory will take more of that steel well that's that's the intention anyway so finally then our latest trains how are we all doing uh losing money basically yep that's uh, that's uh, as expected really uh, the izmir bulk where, what are you doing? You're taking goods back to Ajaxima. That's not the oh, truth. <laughs> well, I suppose it's something, I suppose. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on that, perhaps. The Jakarta Grain Bulk, that's still making money. The steel. You're, ooh, you're losing money. That's not a good sign, is it? We need to keep an eye on that. We do indeed. Uh, so you are taking goods down there. Once we get more goods coming... Ah, uh, hang on. Where are you? What's your loading speed? Ah, uh, you're here, are you? Oh, this is, these are short platforms, aren't they? Okay, I will make these platforms a bit longer so we don't suffer that penalty. But uh, that, that should fix it. And I think once these trains start get into the swing of things, we start getting more goods out of Chengdu. It will make money, he said. I'm trying not to sound too desperately hopeful. <laughs> Still, yeah, lacking steel there, but there's goods going out there. I think that that's that's fine. I think we are overall making loads of money. Oh yeah, yeah, sort of, kind of. Somewhere between 50 and 100 million per half year. Because I'm running at half speed, aren't I? Yes. So there we are. So that is it for Transport Fever 2, the Island Hub series for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbs yuppy button. Even better if you've got uh, something to say about what I'm doing with the game or the game itself. Then please do. Just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. Other than that, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2, until the next time, bye-bye for now.